Random. Random is used to describe actions, events, or items that are done without rhyme or reason. There is no calculated motive because it is just, well, random. Let's work with random today, specifically random numbers. If I ask you to think of a random number, you might think of some number and you can tell me about it. You might have some reason behind your number, but if it was really random, it could be anything. It could be 89 or 31, 12, 96, or even 28. Anything really. So today, let's work with random numbers in Python. It is really easy to generate random numbers because Python has a module, which is a bunch of pre-written code that lets you type out one line to generate a random integer, decimal, or any other type of number. This makes it real easy for us to start making random numbers. So let's begin. Let's start with the most basic statement to make a random number. Before we do anything related to random in Python, however, we have to import the random module from Python. This allows us to use the functions related to making a random number and will help us generate random numbers. So let's type this in. Import, import, random. All right, so what that will do is they'll import the random module from Python and that will allow us to, well, work with random numbers. Now let's do the most basic statement. Let's create a random number. Let's print this out. So print, then we have our print parentheses, random dot random, and then don't forget the parentheses at the end. All right. So after you've typed that, let's talk about it. What do you think this will do? Let's actually play, let's see what happens. Okay. So as we can see, we have a long decimal number and each one of these is random. So what this statement, random.random, print random.random, what this does is it generates a random number between zero and one. But one is exclusive. No matter how many times I click, it'll never, that zero over here will never change to a one. Because it'll always, it'll go from zero to zero point, so zero point nine 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 nine, like as much as it can, but it'll never get to one. That's just how it'll work. So that's good to know. Now, if we actually do want to get to one or we want, we don't want decimal numbers. We want like actual real numbers. Well, let's start with decimal numbers. Or no, let's start with real numbers first. Let's do something cool now. So now let's print random dot rand int. Now, rand int is a random integer. So let's set some bounds between what to what. So over here in my example, I'm gonna do zero and 10. Let's create a random number between zero and 10. Let's see what happens. Five, seven, zero, zero, four, seven, four, eight, Okay, this is kind of random, yeah. Oh, it even hit 10, as we saw over here. We click, there we go, we got to 10. So this is special in where we're able to control from where to where it'll go to. It'll never go beyond 10, and it'll never go less than zero. It'll be a random number between zero and 10. All right. Now, suppose we don't want a whole number, we will do want a decimal. So let's print one more thing. 
random dot uniform zero to ten. So let's see what this does. Okay, so it kind of, in a way, is something between this, the random not random statement that we had earlier, and the random dot rand int, where it's an integer and a floating value. So basically, we got our a nice long decimal value, which is completely random between zero and ten. Perfect. We keep going. Bingo. There we go. So that is great. So let's go through what we learned today. So we learned what a random number is, how to import the random module in Python, and how to create different types of random numbers in Python, whether that be a simple floating value, an integer, how to control the range from where to where, and how to use uh, a full value. Great.